Hey guys, how's it going? We're back today with Ethan Bashini. We're gonna trade hamstrings. She told me this morning that she wants to be killed today on hamstrings. So that's what we're gonna be doing. She's not gonna be doing cardio today. It's her cardio rest days. So she wants to give everything she has in the gym so that she's crippled after for the next couple days. Okay, we'll do it. Before we get into it, I wanna mention a couple things. As you guys know from before, we're not trying to build Ethan's quads, right? So that's makes us very limited when we're training glutes, but especially hamstrings, because there's so many good hamstring exercises that you can utilize that also work your quads a little bit. And I want to explain to you guys how that works. Are you able to lay on the floor for me? Can you lay on the floor? Whenever you're doing any movement where your knee is perpendicular to your body or ends up in that position or there's a knee flexion, you're going to work your quads a little bit, right? Put this foot down, put this, put this leg down. If you go like this, any exercise that has this movement here, you're going to work some quads. So think about it, right? Leg press, hack squat, any deadlift movement, any pressing movement, right? But Let's say you're doing a hip thrust where you're still pushing with your heels. I want you to do a hip work, hip thrust, push up. You see how the knees are pushed away from the body? We're not gonna have a lot of quad activation, but there's so many good exercises where it, if you do this movement, right? Knee flexion, you can still work your hamstrings. But unfortunately, since Kisa, we're not trying to work our quads, we can't really do any of those really good exercises. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with another athlete and make another video some other time where I can utilize the exercises, right? Cause you're gonna do Bulgarian split squats, you can do wide wide stands like sumo squats on the on the pit machine. You can do goblet squats with a million different variations of exercises. I have a list of like 40 exercises that you can do that unfortunately activate quads. So with Issa Machini, we're gonna to have to isolate our hamstrings and make sure that we don't really work any quads at all so that we can to be the work towards our goal, which is grow our hamstrings and maintain our quads where they are. So I'm up. Thank you very much for being my example. <laughs> so even on this exercise, right? So go, go on, this is a glute exercise, but I want to show you why we can't really do the exercise because it does activate our quads. So you see, you see how there's a knee flexion, right? And the knee is coming in towards the body and it's perpendicular to the body, right? So this is going to be working some quads here. So that's why we don't really use this exercise for her. Okay, you can stop here. She goes on leg press, for leg press. This can also really work your hamstrings well, but unfortunately for her, we can't really do them. So put your feet high, put them higher, wider like this. Them out, keep your knees out, go down, go down all the way. Go down all the way. Yeah, push. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> there you go. Put your feet high. I want you to work your hamstrings on this one, okay? See if you're getting a lot of hamstring tension there, but unfortunately, your knees, once again, perpendicular right to her body, so she's going to be activated into the blood, so we can't do that too. So yeah, she's Bulgarian put watch, so there's so many good exercises we need to hand to we can't do. So we're gonna work on isolation with her. And then once again with another athlete, I'll show you guys some even better exercises that you can do or that are more like more pump on exercises that are gonna be working other parts besides their hands. So I like to start a lot of hamstring days with the adductor machine. I think you should use this machine on every hamstring day, especially if you're lacking a little bit of muffler in your inner thighs. It's gonna give you the width, right? If you build your adductor, it's gonna give you the width in your back pose. This really just focuses and isolates the adductor muscle and I really like when girls sell this exercise. On the hamstring deck. Warm-up set, right? First exercise in the day, we're warm-up set. Just get out. Easy. Ten more. Nine. You like 30, 40 reps to warm up while it wakes. Make five more. Three, two, to the break. Go a little bit heavier on the next ones. We really want to grow our hamstrings or lower really that tie-in area and also the width of her legs and her back pose, and it's gonna give her more of a symmetrical look to the back pose. The best thing for which is gonna be the inner thigh, that adductor, which is trying to work here. You can work this on a lot of exercise in the too. Unfortunately for her, we can't really do that many sumo exercises, because once again, the quads are gonna get engaged. So like, if I really wanted to work her adductors a lot, I would make her do a lot of sumo deadlift, sumo squat type movements, a wide, wide stance on the leg press, but we can't do that, so we need to utilize this machine and literally isolate the adductor. Are you there? It's, yeah. You got strong adductors at 175 here. Let's get another warm up set. You can graduate with 10 kilos. How much? 10 kilos. 10 kilos? Oh, 100 kilos. 100 kilos? Yeah. 25? <laughs> okay, 175 right now. 10 more. 9. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, still warming up. Okay, take a break. So yeah, the first exercise, try to do five, five sets, test your warm-up sets. 
And then the next two are gonna be a little bit tougher. So we do two and do three more, okay? Now we're gonna go to same kilos. That, same kilos? Same kilos, <laughs> heavier right. kilos. Still not too, too heavy. Stretch a little bit more. Throw it up. Good. It's not the most exciting exercise, but we gotta get it done, all right? Be going. Good. Push. Good boy until you go to failure. It's four reps. Four in the north day. Five more four. Five more four. Four. Three. Going. Squeeze all the way, sweetie. Don't, don't stop. Squeeze. There you go. Right there. Keep going. Squeeze at the end. Good. And one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Baby. Baby. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. It's a bit of a tap. Let's go. Good. Stretch a little bit more. Stretch a little bit more. Right there. Good. Okay, so you see how she's with the weight stack is not touching, right? If she would stop, mm -hmm. if she would take a, if she wants to get a break in her set, what she would do is she would go all the way and let it touch. But she would be in She's keeping tension on her adductors the entire time. Uh, Good. That cover on this side? Uh, uh, Faster, of course. Squeeze the end, squeeze, squeeze. Uh, at the end. There you go. Don't uh, stop. Don't do half red right for Yes. Uh, Good. Good. Uh, All the way. Full range of motion. Uh, Five, four, three, uh, two. One more than half reps to the end. Here, right here. Squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dang. Set red. This is the muscle that we're trying to work there, right? The adductor, the inner thigh. And that's going to show your back folds too and in bodybuilder. That's what makes the legs full out so much in the back corner. I'll show you guys maybe in the in this video here once I did. But that's the muscle that's gonna come on Isa. That's the muscle that's gonna really make the legs look wider. Good. Four range of motion. Four range of motion. Good. Squeeze at the end. She's fully stretching your adductors here, they're fully stretched, and she's fully contract and right there. Good. You don't want to be doing half reps. But she's doing this all the time, this. Don't uh, full range of motion and full contraction all the time. Good, where you go? Let's go. I'm not even looking at her. I don't know if she's dead yet. So I'm all okay. Mark, push. Can you do it for one? You do it for one? She can't. So we do half up stuff. Half up again. 15, 14, 13. Squeeze. There you go. Squeeze. 10. Squeeze. 9, 8. More ease. I'm helping too much. There you go. 7, 6, 5. Four. Squeeze one. Three, two. Good. It's such a small muscle, but it's gonna take a lot out of it. You feel the burn, right? A lot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're fully stretching the adductor when you do this exercise. Don't get injured. On the first rep though, you can help yourself get in there because the initial movement of Tomorrow is like this. <laughs> the initial movement of lifting the weight is hard, so just help yourself do the first rep, and you can just use your legs. Yeah, I see people doing the 100% rep through this point here to here, all the way. No, do the whole stretch, do the full contraction all the way to all the way to your feet together. One leg at a time. Remember, starting your weakest side first, just starting on her left, and then she's gonna do as much as she can, and then copy the amount of reps on her stronger leg, which was her right side. And sometimes, for me, my upper body was stronger on my right side, and my lower body was stronger on my left side, so. You have, to, you have to figure out your body and figure out which sides are stronger and then always start on your weaker side. Four one set, first set. Good. 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 How many did you do there? 20. 20? Yeah, okay, good. The one on the side, you can go 20, you can do 25, just fill out the weights, and then the next one, you can go into the lower one. Look at her hands today, come here. Take a second. Look at this pop coming out, it's crazy. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's help. <laughs> well. Oh, 
Ten, ten more. Four. Two more. Good. That was a long set, obviously, where it's good, but it's obviously way too light for a fail between 8 to 15 rep range, which is what we're trying to work in for. All right, set number two, we're going to go at about almost double the weight of what you did with set number one. Once again, starting on the left side. So it looks a little bit light. We're going to see how many she can do here. Got it. I would have to have to up. Up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, two. Sorry, please. You go a lot faster on your left side than you do your right side. And now it's just speeding it up. But All the way down. Pick your time. There. I'm going to start pushing on it a little bit at around uh, head rest like I did on the other side. Cut seven there. Eight. I like you to get me out a little bit. Ten. Higher for the one, boy. We got this. Five more. Four. Three. Now, two. One more than we do ten at the top. Ten half reps. One, two, three, four. Higher, one, five. There you go. In track. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. You're gonna see today though, we're gonna be doing all isolation hamstring workouts once again, because we don't want to engage their flawed. So, back four, five, good. All right, squeeze the hamstring. Come on, there you go, right there. You want to kick your ass with your heel. That's gonna, that means you're gonna get traction. Good. All the way up, Lisa, all the way up. We'll let her fail on her own. Higher, higher, higher. Down, red. So if you're alone, this would be failure, right? And all the way up. So, and it's at nine. Okay, it's one. Sit, five, higher, higher, four, go, three, three, two, one. Good, move. So on the first set, we did 15, full range of motion, then 10 half. And our hamster's getting tired now, so now we're not only able to do 12 to fill your full range of motion, we'll win the half reps of an app like again. How many are we at now? 11. Good. Well, see, this size is much stronger, so we're at 12, but she's still able to do more. So we're going to stop uh, there, do 10 at the top. Squeeze. Good. Uh, see, she was probably able to probably do 15 to 18 full reps, wherever, with the full range of motion on the right side. We have to stop her at 12, because she stopped at 12 on the left side. We don't want to keep building an asymmetrical physique, right? So that's why we start on the left side and I copied the reps on the, the right side, on the stronger side. So unless I gave out at 12, she was still able to do the reps pretty easy on the right side at 12, so to stop there. Oh. And that's why if you start on the stronger side, then you're gonna have complete asymmetry because you wanna start on the side, you're gonna do 18 here, and then you're gonna give out on 12 here. Then you, and then you're gonna continue that all the way through your body into the career with that bad habit. And then you're gonna have an asymmetrical physique. And then it's hard to correct that after, it's hard. And then you see a lot of girls with like glutes where one side's a little bit bigger than the other, and it's like, it's hard to fix that. It's very to build the habits to start when you start training, and then you do that throughout your entire bodybuilding career. And my glutes, one side is more longer than yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, so one side of my... like I mentioned it when I first started coaching, I was like, your, what was your left side or something? It's a little bit shorter yeah. than the right side. So she really needs to work on like the, as you saw in the glutes, to really stretch the muscle, especially on the left side, especially when she's doing your knee lateral exercises for your yeah. glutes, right? So you could really have the symmetry on everything. Symmetry on your glutes, on your hamstrings, and your yes. shoulders, everything. If you don't want one side, one side bigger than the other. So I think when we start, you show me the posing, back posing, I was like asymmetric. I was like, I was posing like... like every every show you did, yeah. 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 I, I think for this, when I do the exercise, I push one, more for one side. So now I pay attention. Yeah, you this. pay attention and you're building the good habits. Yeah. In every category when you're in, symmetry is extremely important, right? You don't want to throw everything off, but you know, you have two poses. If you're, let's say your right leg is stronger than your left leg, and you're showing your, your right leg and your front pose, that's fine, but you're going to show your weaknesses in your back pose, guaranteed, because you see the full display of the physique in the back pose. You really want to have symmetry from left to right, and that's going to make you stand out a lot more. So.
Last set here, I'm gonna make her fail to do it on her own. I'm not gonna help her. So she's gonna do the whole thing on herself, on her own. You see how she's trying to kick her ass here with her heel? That's how you get a full contraction. So she's gonna do a full range of motion, and then when she fails, she's gonna just do the half reps at the bottom. So once again, like we did with the glutes, right? We do half reps to the top, half reps to the bottom. We do isometric curl at the end. There's so many different intensifiers you could do when you completely finish the full range of motion and you can push anymore. That's gonna allow you to really enter the gas tank on every exercise we do. Good, Ethan. You can do a full mark, too. Right? Higher, higher. There you go. Seven, higher, come on. Eight, nine, 10. I'm not gonna let her stop. 11, come on, half reps to the bottom. Keep going to the bottom, keep going to the bottom. Good, she couldn't do any more to pop, good. Three, four, higher, five, there you go. Six, seven, eight, higher, nine. That, that's how you push your failure. That was perfect. So she did the whole full, 10 to 12 full reps. Then she still had a little bit of energy to go at the top. And when she had no more and her leg was, you know, finished, she had nothing left, finish at the bottom. That's, that was a perfect set. Perfect. And she did it on her own. And that to help her, didn't have to do anything. Once you learn how to do that on your own for every exercise, you're going to make some serious gains. Please have. Hmm? The maximum I did in Brazil was 15 kilos. 15 kilos? 15 kilos. 15, yeah, 35 or something. But every machine different, right? So it could have been heavier on that machine. She said that the most you ever done in Brazil was like about 35 pounds. So, but the different machines feel different, right? You can have some smooth machines that feel like they're 45 pounds, those don't feel like they're the weight. Yeah. yeah, not all machines are the same. You're gonna copy the amount of gears. But she can do about 12 on this side, can do 12. And then she's gonna do 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom, same thing. You're gonna see how much easier it is on this side, the right side, which is more straight. Oh, yeah. Seven, eight, squeeze, kick, die, and drag. Two more. At the top now, at the top, at the top. There you go. Higher. Please. Eight, four, up here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Ten, ten at the bottom. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, twelve, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. That was perfect. She's sleeping now. She fell asleep. Oh, my God. She fell asleep? Well, my Botox. Your Botox? Yeah, no work more. <laughs> <laughs> Reset you does that feather. Hey, clean your teeth. You yeah, the, the lipstick, because I do like this the other side, and the lipstick, lip, my lipstick go to my teeth. Maybe she's over your lip, you're putting lipstick on the inside, or what? I <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> so we have seven different leg curl machines here, like line leg curls. So we're trying to see which one feels the best on her body, and then we're going to go with that one. How does it feel? It's okay? Feels weird? Feels weird? Okay, so let's try There's six different other options. So that's probably all I asked her why she didn't like that one. She said, what did you say? Yeah, because I felt in the middle of his of movement. I lost the proportion. Yeah, yeah, I don't so it could be many things. Maybe like the machine just doesn't really pop over the physique. Maybe your legs are too long. You put on the on the setting with the pad as far as possible for her body because her legs are very long. And it doesn't, she just feels it doesn't cooperate with the wife. So we're gonna try another one. If this is working, we're gonna try another one. And sometimes you don't have it in the office at your gym, but we're gonna be here. I feel muscle with this. They have 20 different options. Yeah. So <laughs> is this? <laughs> A little bit light, you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and. A little, in the, a little this, this. You want to make a cake with this thing? Take it out of the oven. Um, I never seen a an insert letter. It's like some old school core thing that I've got going on here. Where is it? No. It's a little bit high now on your heels. It feels like it's it's a little bit higher in your feet now. Yes. Yeah, so let's put it down a little bit more. She's like bouncing with like the balls of her feet here. Maybe it's for it. Try there, let's see. Not here. Should I go even lower? Oh. We need to start again. Hmm? I was trying, yeah. <laughs> but this one's better. Better? The movement, yeah. yeah. But it's very different. Like, look at this bench, right? Yeah. Like, the different like seating and everything's different. Yeah. Man, like the, the way they made this chair is incredible. Unbelievable, this chair. Like, 
Uh, there's so many different options for everyone. So you can definitely find different machines that you like. But unfortunately, like using my own own the two two like Chrome machines, and if it works for you, it does or it doesn't. So at least you can like really optimize. So you can really use a machine that you feel works and best for you, and not everyone has that luxury. So try it again. Let's see if it's good. I put the pad a little bit higher on your feet. Better. Better. To feel the full tension all the way through the range of motion. So first set, we're trying it out. This is the first set, the other one will count. Right around 60 pounds here. Squeeze these, sir. Always try to kick your, kick your ass with your heels. That's really gonna make you a whoop and jack. Good. Higher, higher. Just warmed up, so we're gonna go a little bit to failure, even if, even if this is the first bad end. The first set is, I think. Three more. Two more. I'll make it easier for one more. Good, done. I feel like this company, what is it? Jim Milko, so from Sweden. Right? And it's funny, like all these like Euro, Euro, Euro team companies that there's not like that many bodybuilders. Like how many Swiss bodybuilders are there? I don't know, but they're making insane equipment like this. So they make that so many, so much of this company here in Ada, right? In Italy. And these are actually, I never really try these, these ones that much, but on all the equipment that I've uh, tried here at the Pure Muscle this week, the Panada ones are insane. The mechanics of every exercise, sorry, the mechanics of every machine is incredible. Like even the hip thrust right over there, remember? Remember with the pad that's going like this, right? And then the movement and the mechanics of every machine. Like all these European companies that are making the best equipment. It's funny. You don't it's right, you don't lock. Yeah, lock my now. yeah, my yeah, keep so. my knee. Because oh. this side. Uh, it's the same thing for biceps too. You don't want to go like all the way. Yeah. So yeah, she made a good point. She said sometimes when she does like a full extension of her knee on the hamstring, she feels like a lot of tension in, in my like, left side. Yeah, and so it hurts here. So I'm gonna show you about like on the on hamstrings and biceps, right? With that movement. You don't want to stretch all the way down. You want to have maybe like 10 degrees of where you don't go. So if you're doing biceps, stop right here. Don't lock it out like this because that's how you're going to tear your biceps. And everyone, everyone that tears their biceps, it's like on these machines or these picture curls, and they stretch their way all the way down. And then you have all the tension right on the, uh, the bicep there. Save for the hamstring. So don't go stretch all the way down. Like we didn't stretch all the way down there. We, there was still like a, maybe a 10 degree where we didn't go. And that's going to help you not get injured. It's the same movement with the same kind of joint muscle. So you see up, you're going all the way down, but you're stopping right here. Instead of doing, do one full extension to shoulder and all the way, do one like this. You don't want to lock it out like this, this is too much. So you stop right here. There you go. Perfect. That's just plus that. And one other thing too. So let's say you see, you saw how much stronger in the other exercise, her right side was with the left, right? Cautious of that where you're training. Don't just, if you're doing these two exercises, sorry, if you're doing an exercise with your two legs or your two arms, you know what, I'll just have. <sighs> Squeeze. We're gonna do so many more. We're gonna do so many more, Issa. Let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12. Squeeze. 11, 10, 9. Go, you got it. 8, 7, 6, 5. Faster. 4. Finish it. 3, 2, 1. Good. And the next time we're gonna do something else, I'm gonna show you guys, but as he says, as he says crippled right now. Yeah, she's taking a nap, so what she likes to take a nap. What I was trying to explain before during the set is, your body's smart, right? As I explained in the other videos, and it's gonna to wanna to make whatever you're doing as easy as possible. If her right leg is stronger, your body's gonna to tend to wanna to lift more with your right leg, all the common save as your left leg, right? It's not gonna evenly distribute the weight between both legs. I was explaining to her too, you gotta to remember, when you're doing an exercise, we're using your both legs, push with your left leg just a little bit more, right? So the weaker side a little bit more so that you still build that symmetry. Because if you're doing both legs at the same time, the chances that your body's gonna wanna evenly distribute the weight between both your legs is, it's not gonna happen, right? Your body's smart, it's gonna overcompensate, it's gonna push a little bit more to your right, and you keep the asymmetries. Make sure that when you're doing exercises that are not unilateral, you're using both, both limbs, they just push it a little bit more to your weaker side so that you can touch them too. Understand too? Yeah. That's where push a little bit more to your left side on all the exercises with this too. Even like leg press, right? Let's say, or she, let's say we could do leg press, right? She would push a little bit more to the left side. Or let's say even your glute is a little bit weak on the left side. I told her when you're doing hip thrust, just push a little bit more to your left side. Or just a little bit more so that you keep that symmetry as, as soon as you can. Because your body's gonna, is, your body's gonna compensate with, with another muscle. It's gonna compensate with the strongest muscle you have available. And it doesn't care. But your body's not trying to meet for the best bodybuilder. Your body's just trying to do whatever you're giving it as easy as possible. So you need to force it in that position. Yeah, we're gonna go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do double contractions at the top. So we're gonna go down. One, this, down. One, okay. 
Bring it all the way up, down halfway, up again, then all the way down. So double kick jack from the top. One, two, down. Good. And that's gonna give a little bit of a different feel in your hamstring and activate different fibers too. Good. This is very difficult. You can even add three at the top. We'll do three on the last one. Good. <sighs> So come on. Helping you a little bit too much. Cool, four range, no stopping, go. Down, up, five, four, three, two, one more, then hold it five seconds on top. Hold it, five, hold it, five, four, hold it, three, squeeze, two, good. So same exercise, we added a couple of variations, right? We did a double contraction at the top, right? With every set. And then we did an isometric hole at the end. With the glutes, I'm going to every exercise for every muscle here. Shit at the top. So there, one, two, three, four, down. It's going to be tough, but <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> we're going to do this on her own. And then I'm going to help her right at the end. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, down. Good. It's going to be tough. Two, perfect. Three. Four, good, down. <clears throat> Contract more though, Contract more. Higher. <laughs> okay, give me two at the top now, give me two at the top. I think Enjoy for this, we down the weight. What? The I mean, yeah, for this. <laughs> You're like, I can't do this weight with four reps on the top. Okay, let's try it again. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, good. So it's five reps in one here. Let's spray it in mine. Okay, three, four, and then four. Good. And that's gonna hit your muscle differently, right? Same, same exercise, same machine, but there are little variations to really activate the muscle. Do you have to do this, the world answering? No, but I mean, <clears throat> it's gonna help if you make it a little bit more fun too, is to add a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, oh, oh let her struggle a little bit, Robbie, the helper. Yeah. Push, push, push the one. Two, three. We're gonna do one more full range of motion. Full. Just show me that. This is why I wanted to bring you here. So that always on this exercise, your shins give out before hamstrings, which I didn't even know. I've never even heard about that before. So working with like an osteo or massage therapist or like a physiotherapist to really work on I mean, it. It's like a, a tibia issue or something, but she said like her, it's almost like when you're doing back, like your forearms give out right before your back. So we need to find a solution to this. Right, so that you can be able, able to go to failure with this. You went to failure pretty much. Yeah. You said you had maybe a couple more reps than you, but yeah. your, your shin was just giving out before, which is weird. It's only in this, but in another I can go, but yeah. only this one. I, I, where the another place I feel her, like an inclined treadmill. For this, I prefer to do like that, elliptical. That makes sense, though. That yeah. makes sense. Because if you're not used to running, your shins are going to be tight, right? You're going to have bad shin splints. But it was weird because like her feet aren't, if she told me that her calves were going to be out before, the solution would maybe be to like flex her foot a little bit less, right? Because if she flexes her knee this way, her foot this way, then your calves will be activating more. So that's an easy solution. But I mean, for this, I mean, there's not really much you can do. You can try to change your foot angle. Well, let's see your foot angle on this. I thing. don't know. I, don't I have know. a ball here. You have a ball? I don't know if that's related. But <laughs> I don't know. You go, go on this machine, and you don't see your rep. I just want to see your feet up, please. And how do you do a rep here? How, how do you do like that? Okay. Maybe if you actually could relax this, side, relax, put it down. Maybe if you put your feet a little bit more like this and you elongate the shin muscle, maybe it'll give out less. So here she's contracting more of her calves, but if she's on this machine and she's pushing her feet this way, it's gonna contract more of the shin and maybe that's what's going in first. So I don't know. And this is how you do the rep. Go ahead, try. I'm gonna help you. Just pushing your feet down. Try to put your toes more towards me. Try like that. It's gonna be a little bit tougher. It's gonna be a bit more calves and shin, but it's at least it's elongating her shin muscle. Okay, anyways, we're gonna have to try that later on, but that's something we need to fix because we need to really grow our hamstrings and if her shins are taken over before her hamstrings are completely finished, then that's something we need more on. No. There could be different reasons, but this is why I wanted to bring you here so we can learn. I, I never knew this before, right? This yeah, I mean, too, it's, it's the only... Always, <laughs> always online on Lycro machine. Yeah. So. I've never heard that, but calves don't understand. Okay, I'll think about that or add in my notes and we'll try to find a solution for that. Yeah, I think she said she went to Pilates and the, the instructor was telling her to like do like the events to really work on her flexibility and strength her, but yeah, that, that's what I noticed. She said she realizes too now that she's really always like pushing with the back of her heel, but her toe is really tucked in. So this is shortening this muscle. I talked a lot of stress with this muscle during this exercise. So I told her like, instead of putting her all the way, she said that she's, she lost a bit of strength when she, when she points her toe backwards, which I get, cause she's gonna be engaging her, her calves and her calves are gonna be weaker than her hamstrings. But 
try to just go like halfway, right? So like halfway, so that you're not putting too much pressure on the hamstring or on the, the calf and not too much on the, uh, the shin and then you can really focus on the hamstring. That could be just like a little thing that might be able to help you with that solution because yeah. if you're pushing like this all the time and you're like, yeah, of course, you're gonna time. get a shin pump for sure. Yeah. So. so we did three machines already, right? We did one adductor exercise and we did two hamstring isolation exercises. Now we're gonna go to a free weights a little bit. So just to change it up a little bit, we might go back to the machines after. Good. Her legs are not fully straight here. Because if you're like you lock your legs like this, you're gonna be you're gonna be bending too much your hips and you're gonna activate the lower back. Slight bend of the knee here, not too much, but then you're doing a squat and then push your ass back all the way. Push fast your butt all the way, and that's gonna really elongate the hamstring muscle, the lower glute muscle, and that's where you're gonna get all the activation. I really get the most out of this exercise. You see your foot even is elevated off the ground, all the pressure's on your hands, all the pressure's on your heel. That's how you gonna get the most out of your exercise. Warm up set. She's doing a little bit of a contraction at the top of the hips. It's not doing much for the hamstring because the hips is at the bottom and she's just pushing her hips this way. It, it's as if you're just standing there and you're just saying, hey, this was not much of a difference, but she can do that if she likes it, but it's not really gonna be benefiting her hamstring that much. Good, four one set. So I made a list here of hamstring exercises. There's a lot, right? But you saying like the stiff leg, you can do stiff leg with dumbbells. You can do single leg, you can do the double leg. You can do have a dumbbell, like a heavier one in the middle. You can do both at the same time. You could do one with a weighted bar on your back. That's going to be more of a good morning, but you could do one in front of you too with a weighted bar. Like this, you do it on the suit, on the team, and you could be standing on a platform. So there's like a million different variations you can do with stuff like that. And when I was wide, and that was one of my favorite exercises too, so the half So that's a really good hamstring isolation exercise. You know what? We're going to be successive at least so I can show you guys the different variations. You see how she's really, she's pushing and she's sitting into her knees right there. She's sitting into her tiny area, which is what we want to grow, right? Perfect. Excellent form. And if you have trouble contracting your hamstring or, or elongating your hamstring, you can put a plate underneath the fire tap on plate. So your foot is a little like this, and you got more of a stretch on the hamstring. And the feet doesn't need it there. And it's immediately on the air. That's the strict reason I'm willing to get any. With these such, she doesn't have too many lower back problems, so that's fine. But said once she starts feeling the lower back, take it over a little bit, not pain, but just a little bit of strain on the lower back, which is normal, right? That's the movement you're doing. Once you get your body smart, so eventually once your hamstring will give out, your body's gonna wanna move, wanna utilize another muscle to pick over, so your lower back can start to heal a little bit. So she goes a little bit past where her lower back starts feeling a little bit of tension, and then she'll stop. And she wants to really grow her hamstring, so she's really gonna try to focus all on the hamstring, but what you can do maybe is your lower back starts to get over, just stay at the bottom. So instead of doing a full digestion, go all the way down, you start to lower back a little bit and do the half lifts at the bottom, maybe. Really just have the, the tension on your hamstring. Well, I'm gonna try this, this one, we'll see. She was mentioning too that she really likes doing the, to show them the, the single leg, half leg deadlift that you like doing so. She likes to do this one a lot. She gets a really long stretch on the hamstring right here. She said so that's one of her favorite exercises, but she says she feels it so much on the lower back, so. Yeah, because it's more red, so more movement, yeah. one leg and after another. I want to see your, how you do that one actually with a dumbbell after just to see maybe we can change something to get more pre to get less pressure on your lower back. We'll see. Let's just see because right there how you were doing, it would make sense why your lower back hurts because if you're like this or your chest is up, right? So maybe you either head cut down a little bit more, it'll take more tension off the lower back. So I want to see how you do that movement after and maybe we can make a small adjustment so that you can do it more often. Let's go back with, with the double. <laughs> So once you're done with the full, you start feeling your lower back, stay at the bottom and you see the half reps, okay? Really good. All the way to her heels. Finish down the half to the bottom. When you do the half reps, and you feel it more in your lower back or, or less? Because it could be either way. A bit more? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a bit more movement. So, yeah. You have to fix this lower back issue. And this could have been like an issue from exercises she's done in the past, right? Because her lower back is very tense. And maybe with the split machine stuff that she was doing in the past, the heavy place and the short range of motion and she both her lower back on. So we need to figure out really how to 
disengage her or lower back in a lot of exercises and really get it released so that we can, we're not limited by that because if we're hamstrings at 50% more, the lower back's taking over, then that's an issue, right? So we need to be able to really, we need to work together to fix this issue so that she'll be able to leave everything on every set and give everything out with her hamstrings and when her hamstrings are clearing all her lower back. It's not too much of an issue for her, but I felt like she definitely had a little bit more nerve than her lower back started taking over. Lower back pump that she's getting instead of a kind of lower back pain, that she's not walking around with lower back pain all the time, but she can feel like the starting of pump, right? Blood rush her into a lower back while she's doing her set. The body wants to take over, right? With that hip during the show. It's for sure, I'm gonna I make notes every time she tells me something and then I'm gonna try to find a solution to the problem that we have on everything. The another I like is good morning. Good morning, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mutual. yeah but it, so good morning is very similar to this, right? It's the same movement, it's just that the weight is a different, the, the resistance is on the top or still on the bottom. Yeah. So we can do that too. Do you feel, which is your favorite exercise? You said the lying Hampton curl, right? Is one of your favorites, but, you, but then you feel like your shin, right? Yeah, but my favorite for, I, I love the stiff and variation, we feel the variations. And good morning because I feel like I'm working country and glutes insertions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're getting the full stretch. Yeah, because, so let's say on the line, that's a good point. So on the line leg curl, what we said we can't really stretch the, the leg all the way down with the hamstrings, you might get a tear or injury. And you're not really getting any lower glute on the lying uh, leg curl, actually, just based on the way the mechanics of the machine works. But with this one, she got a full stretch and she's stretching that lower glute, stretching her hamstring, stretching that entire area. And, she's able, and then she's able to contract. So that, those muscles are definitely benefiting. I really like sumo deadlifts because once again, it does the same thing. You can sit into the glute, sit into the hamstring. Maybe we'll do one after just to show you the form, but you can really sit into it and really push up with your hamstrings and your lower glutes and you get so much glute and hamstring pump from sumo deadlifts and get them properly. But unfortunately for Issa, we have to, we can't work any quads at all, right? Even if the exercise is not quad, even if the exercise is not prioritizing for quad muscle, we can't even do it as a secondary. Just because the knee is gonna be, there's gonna be knee flexion there, kinds of sumo deadlifts. Well, I love what I can is, I know English, yeah. But in Brazil, it's called Afundo com Repu, like lounges, <laughs> lounges uh, with step, and yes, you have like more. Right? Yes, yeah, then you do like this. Mm. But it's a uh, Smith machine, and you go down, but with uh, uh, yeah. something here, because you have more yeah, so yeah, elevation, like, like reverse, like and you go do like this yeah. and this. But you don't have to do this thing up, but yeah, don't need. It's fancy, you can do this leg kick up, but yeah. So that's what that's, uh, she's talking about a reverse a Smith machine split squat, which is definitely a platform there. And if you like that, and you get through the movement that you were doing, like Once where? Again, see your knee, right? Ninety degrees. Yeah. Pushing up, that's going to be quads. She loves doing that, but we can't. Work yeah, I can. Working against what our goal is, right? But for our hamstring and glute so insertion, is amazing. Maybe what she's always built quads very easily. So there's always something she struggled with. If we don't train quads at all, she didn't train quads really in the past, so it sucks because we'll be able to grow her hamstrings a lot better and even her glute a lot better. We'll be like the sumo, the split squats, the lunges, everything, but we can. So we need to work on the isolation and do the best we can with that. So, it's in the ears. You see how she's really sitting on the tying area. She's sitting, right? And then she's good dropping on the way up. Perfect. Knees slightly bent, but she's not locking your knees completely. I'm just really sitting into it on every single uh, repetition. She's getting a little bit of adductor to activation right here, which is the muscle that's going to really make your legs wider. So she's getting a little bit of adduction activation. But the focus is really on the hamstring and the stretch in the hamstring. It's good. But, no. Really good as well. Oh. Really good. Oh. Feel really good? I love fish. I know, it's so good. Me too, when I was bodybuilding, my legs were huge, which is one of my favorite exercises. Yeah. You really feel it exactly where you want to work, right? And, uh, and you don't have that shin, shin issue on this exercise too, right? No. Yeah. Like a yeah, because now I uh, flex a little bit. Yeah. When I did, I do like this. Oh, and a lot of lower back too. Yeah. You're not gonna, if you lock short without the weights, just to show how you don't do it. Yeah, exactly. So this. Yeah, it's a lot of lower back. You want to just slight bending the knees, slight bending. She was doing the whole time. And you're going to feel a much, that's a little bit much. So yeah, right there. But you don't want to be doing a squat, right? You don't want to do a squat, but you want to just have a good. Just a little bit, not like this, yeah. but not like this. There's different variations too. You can even do like a sumo. Have you ever tried sumo with this or no? Yeah. Sumo, try it, show them like a sumo stance with this. If you're wider, or you can even have a demo in the middle. Sumo? Yeah, yeah sumo back. No, like a sumo. sumo ah, sumo, 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 s
So try this too, see if you like it a little bit better. It can activate like different fibers. I too. love to. Yeah, you love to? Yeah, I quite like elevation. She'll do more. Oh uh, yeah, so she, she sat to different benches. So this is a sumo stance. Like the video you saw. So the video I posted and you. So she might feel this exercise better if her feet are a little bit closer together, right? Isa has a little bit of a wider sense because you're she's very wide up top and legs are long food. Try it. Try these exercises. There's 20 different variations you can do with stuff like that. Try a little bit, feet motion together. Try a little bit further apart. Try this two both hands. Try with dumbbells. Try with try with the weighted bar. Try with one dumbbell. There's plenty of different ways you can do it, right? So you can really feel the hamstring. You don't have to do the standard, okay, this is the position, this is what for everyone. No. Do whatever you feel best for you. Let's try to just show them how you do the, uh, the single leg stuff like deadlift. This is the one she says she does for some months because she really feels it too much in her lower back. But this is the one she says she feels the most in her hamstring, right? So it sucks because she's limited to what she can do and because of the quads, but then she's also limited because sometimes she'll feel like the lower back. This one she says is like her absolute favorite one, but she just feels her lower back in there. And she's got a crazy stretcher with the hand foot. Well, she bested. Come on. Yeah, I'm having the good. Issa, you started on your right leg. You started on your right leg. Sorry? You started on your right leg. I was working just to show. Just to show? Yeah. yeah. So once again, she started on her right leg, right? But she's just showing you guys, but she should always start on her left leg. Good. Look at that hamstring coming out. It's about the action for working, but this is, look at that muscle that she has there. Yeah. So your lower back, your, your form was so good. I feel like you wouldn't feel yeah. the lower back there. I, I think it's only sometimes, I don't know why, but like today, I can do like a yeah, the way you're a off full. Your body was position, you have much tension on your lower back. Yeah, so. I think it's like when I, I do lower body like four times a week, in the last time I, a week I do, and I feel because my body is tired for the other days, the other days yeah. So this is why you do warm-up set, right? So let's say we'll do the exercise, which we might even incorporate, we'll see today, but. So you do a warm-up set, you see how it feels. She goes to lower back a little bit, she wouldn't do it, but then today you don't feel it, right? No. So maybe you can incorporate it. Do anything, oh, you can, so, yeah, so I like. Okay. So let's let's do something else for now, and then we'll do like a, look at see like curl, like where. So at this crazy gym, we have so many machines to choose from, I think it was six or seven seated leg curl machines, all different companies, different mechanics. We're gonna try, Maybe three, four, maybe we'll try them all and see which one he still likes the best. And then we're gonna utilize that. A lot of gyms, you have only one type of leg curl machine, maybe two if you're lucky, but here they're nuts, right? And they really make sure that every athlete has, they really get the most out of every workout. We'll try them all and then we're gonna pick the best one for her and then we're gonna, we're gonna utilize that one. How does that feel? It's good. Good? It's good, but look at her face. She's looking a little bit distressed. Looks like her, why are you looking so mad if it's so good? <laughs> good. Sweetie, you can hold this. You can hold this. Okay, it's not gonna hurt to away from your hands. Good. Um, that's to stabilize. Push your left a little bit more. Push your left a little bit more. Good. Perfect. Good. She really doesn't want to cheat because she has her hand there and not touching, but I mean, it's not like she's helping her, her hand through if she's holding. You want to stabilize yourself with this machine. This is why they're there. Make sure your upper body is really not moving and just move over your legs. Once again, here, we don't really want to stretch all the way to the top because the bicep and the hamstring, the way they function with the, the knee joint, you don't want to stretch them all the way like this with the tension and the weight uh, and the resistance on the muscles. She's going a little bit less than full extension, but then she's contracting all the way down. She did her warm-up set, right? The way was perfect. She felt right around the things. You see how her leg isn't fully extending, right? She has a little bit of an angle right at the end, which is perfect. You don't want to fully extend on the hamstring. It's like you're doing full contraction, right? The pad sitting all the way at the end, hitting the bar key. Yeah. Good. Just go a little bit with her left. Uh, a little bit more with her left and her right. Uh, Keep it up though. Uh, go from Albert Allen. Five, four, 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 three, two, one. Hold that in, hold that, 10 seconds, hold it, hold uh, it, hold it, hold it. 10, nine, hold it, eight, seven, push, six, push, five, four, three, push, push, push it back, two, one, good. <laughs> there always the machine works. It's here. Pushing her upper back here in the pad pretty hard. She's mm -hmm. really stable. She really locked in there and she has all the tension on her hamstring. Good point. 
<sighs> seven at the bottom, seven at the bottom. Seven, six, five, four. Easy, going, you're done. Three, two, one more, one more, one more. Good, baby. The last rep is gonna be everything, okay? You ready? Be a less fat. Last set, we're gonna do, you're gonna be dead, and then that's it, okay? Okay. One more. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Last set of the day. Last set. I'll let you fail on your own, and then we're gonna get into it. I'm strong with it. You're strong? You're focused? You're gonna ruin all your teeth with your lipstick? <laughs> About 10 here. Okay. 13. 14. You still went probably a little bit heavier. With the knee. Mm. All the way down. Go. I'm going to let her fill in her off. Keep going. Hey. Go. Push. Push. You said it. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come down. Keep going. I don't want to be able to lift it off the ground. Go, go, go. One more, one more. Let me do half reps. One more. Good. Half reps to the bar. 10, 9, 8. Give it everything you have. Last of the day. <sighs> 6, 5. I'm helping you. 4, push. 3, 2, one more. One more, one more. Hold it, hold it. 5 seconds. 5. Harder, harder, harder. 3, push. 2, good. Who's driving? Hamstrings finito. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a blind for thing. Oh my god, I don't know. I, I just want to go out. Let's just get this machine off. Uh, yeah, it's so funny because you know, once you're done this, this set, your legs are still extended, right? And you still feel the pressure of, or yeah, still feel yeah. that the stretch. So you're like, I want like to wanna, I get some I want to go out. Oh. Well, guys, we're done the hamstring day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Easter's new walking position. <laughs> She's a little bit crippled. Hi guys, I arrived in Brazil like this. <laughs> So funny. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna try to get more of these videos out to you to help you guys learn how to train. Have a good day.